Today is the fifth Tuesday before the election, and in North Carolina, that means this is the day that they start counting mail-in ballots. Election officials, they are also checking to see if those ballots are valid, and there are already signs of trouble. Data from the state showing a higher rejection rate for black voters than white voters. NBC News correspondent Morgan Radford joining me now from Monroe, North Carolina. Morgan, what's happening with these ballots? That's right, Allison. So today is the first day that North Carolina begins counting those mail-in ballots. They're only one of a handful of states that's able to count those mail-in ballots early before the election. And what state data is showing that black voters who have cast their ballots via mail are having those ballots sent back, claiming inconsistencies, at four times the rate of white voters. And of course, that's concerning in a state that has now seen about a million ballots requested via mail. And that's 11 times higher than the number of mail-in mail -in ballots that were requested back in 2016. So we spoke to one of those voters, a 70-year-old black voter, who said that this was the first time he had voted by mail and his ballot was rejected. Take a listen to what he said. A lot of people lost their lives to me to vote, and I don't want to disappoint them. So that's the way I uh, process the whole thing. So you decided you were going to vote no matter what? If I had to crawl, if I had to crawl, I would have I gone. It's very important. And in this climate nowadays, I mean, it's, uh, I don't feel you got much choice but to do. You know, you can't complain if you don't do nothing. So the interesting thing is that that gentleman did not actually know that his ballot had been sent back, that it would, had an inconsistency until our team called him because we saw his name in the database. Now, days later, he was called by his county board to let him know that there is a chance for him to resubmit his ballot with the corrected information. It's called a voter curing process, Allison. And North Carolina is one of states that will allow voters to actually make corrections on their ballots. But A, they have to know that there was misinformation in the first place and B, they have to do it before Election Day. Allison. Oh, my goodness, Morgan. It's so much to worry about. Uh, folks there uh, who are getting that call must be so concerned. How do election officials go through determine uh, which ones are valid and, and, and what can they do to fix this problem? Yeah, it's a great question. We were just at the Union County Board of Elections today, and we were watching them sort through those ballots. And a lot of what we're hearing, this is the actual mail-in ballot here in North Carolina, is that some of those ballots are missing signatures from the voter, or they're missing a witness's signature. Now, that's something that is required on a mail-in ballot here in North Carolina by law. And the majority of those ballots that are being sent back were missing those witness signatures. That is what happened to Mr. Gibson, who you just saw, who we interviewed yesterday. But the reality of it is a lot of people are saying we've spoken to state officials, we've spoken to county election officials, we've spoken to voters who've had their ballots returned, and we've also spoken to people who are nonpartisan experts on this process. None of them can explain why this is happening, but their best guess is that a lot of these African-American voters are voting for the first time via mail-in ballot because a lot of them were voting early or in person and that they told us that here in North Carolina, absentee voting is typically a whiter process. It's something that you see more white voters do than black voters. So the closest explanation they could give us was that maybe they were making these mistakes because it was the first time they'd done it uh, at a mail-in ballot. But of course, those numbers are, are pretty shocking at a 4.6 percentage rate to give you a sense of things nationally in 2016, only about 1% of ballots were sent back because of inconsistencies. Wow. Right here in North Carolina at this time, that's 4.6% for black people and just 1.6% for white people. Morgan, is there something they can do to fix this issue on a larger scale besides just contacting each person and dealing with it as it happens? And that's sort of the biggest issue, Alice. And I mean, there is a database now that people can go in electronically and look to track their ballot. But we spoke to someone who works for a nonpartisan organization who is involved in making sure that people did, in fact, have that chance to correct their ballot. Take a listen to what he had to say. This is Tomas Lopez. It underscores the need for processes for voters to correct issues with their absentee ballots. You have to have a witness, you've got to sign in the right place, the witness has to sign in the right place. There are all these different pieces where the voter can get tripped up. And so that's why, number one, we're urging people to, if you're going to vote by mail, do it early so that you're given a chance to correct it. 
So the key, Allison, he says, is making those instructions incredibly clear, making sure that people, especially people who are voting for the first time on a mail-in ballot like this, are understanding the process. Now, we have reached out to the state, the, the state uh, election board. They declined to do an interview with us, but they said that they are aware of the problem and that they are trying to make steps so that this process is a little bit more clear. Allison? Morgan, thanks for asking them the tough questions, and thank you for telling us about uh, this, this pretty significant problem there uh, in North Carolina. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. NBC News can help you figure out if you're heading to the polls or to the post office this election. Just head to NBCNews.com slash plan your vote. We have a state by state guide there. It has information on voting rules, deadlines and restrictions. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.